everyone, and welcome to Rezocast episode 118. This is Lego, and I've got with me Hove and Triton and Wilson. Wilson 309, that is. <laughs> hey, you know what's really funny, Lego? You know how you were asking what? us if you were like lagging or desynced before? Am I lag now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My God. We just bomb that intro. I know. <laughs> I Dang thought you were going to be like, it's actually Wilson 709. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. You mean, was you mean it's seven? not? Yeah. Okay. I can't remember. But. Wilson 76. No, I'm just <laughs> That's what happens. That's our child. Uh, well, lots. Guys, there is so much going on right now after nothing going on. I mean, it's really one really big thing, but we got a bunch of new exotic weapons in the pool and some other stuff. Uh, where you guys, how you, how you guys feeling about everything? I'm not even sure what to cover first because we just got this huge bomb dropped on us and we've got the craziness of the labs going on right now. Uh, I'm going to let you guys take it away for a second because I got to fix this desync issue. <laughs> Can I talk about my week? Yeah, usually we just do the week. I don't remember what I was going to say. I had something to talk about, though. <laughs> do you want me to go then while you think about it? I have a mustache. You do have a mustachio. <laughs> I look like Yo, a homeless person. Highlight of my week, I've been growing this bitch out, like, straight up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, I do have a highlight of this week. But Oh, yeah. It involves me, actually. Yeah, it does. So, oh, like, a couple days before Christmas, I had this great idea for uh, gifts for Lego and Wenny. They weren't necessarily Christmas gifts. We didn't do like a Christmas gift exchange, but I had this great idea. And what I didn't know is it was being shipped somewhere from Europe. So it took a while, but Lego and Wenny's gifts finally came and they are probably the best gifts of all time. Lego. I mean, I don't know if it's the best gift of all time. Uh, oh shoot, that's going the wrong way. Uh, yeah. But I... I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to think about it, Hove. You, you got to help me out here. It's the best. It's gift the greatest of all gift time. of all time. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Hold on. You're, Listen. I'm when I outside. showed Wilson of this, he was like, "You have outdone yourself. This is Dude, fantastic. This is epic. 2019 yeah. has just begun. Top that. Like, why don't you show our viewers what the gift is? Well, Hove would yeah. like to see you enjoy your gift. I would like so, to see you Hove, enjoy your gift. Wait, 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 guys. I got a call. I got a call. I got. I got to take this. It's. Uh, hold on. Uh. <laughs> He got me something something to do with my phone. <laughs> <laughs> so for it's the my... audio listeners, there is a beautiful close up shot of Lego's face that has been printed onto the cell phone that is on Lego's cell phone. <laughs> so he's that guy walking around town with like his super own close beautiful up face. Like eyes yes, to mouth and that's it. Beautiful picture. <laughs> oh, really shows off your eye color. And uh, yeah, I think that's an amazing thing. Like, it, you you gotta let us know if if somebody notices in public and is like, "Yo, dude, what's up with the picture of you on your phone?" Like, oh, you gotta... I don't even know if I, because Hope kept texting me at first, and he was like, "Dude, are you gonna? Or, or did you put it on your phone yet? Did you put it on your phone?" And I, I was said like, it I'm once. Not, I'm not gonna put it on my. Phone. It's gonna be so weird. That's the point. Around. Be funny I for know. once, Lego. It's so awkward. Though. That's the point. I like it. Have some fun. I wish I had could take a beautiful picture like that and, and put it on my I, phone. I I did the same thing for Wenny. Wenny got one too, but it's not his face. It's not Lego's face. It's somebody else's face. Oh, that's Wenny. Okay. Show him again, Lego. Put it up to the. Oh. I'm I'm gonna just... try here. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, are you gonna remake it? Are you gonna remake it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. So this is Inception. He's zooming in on the camera to get a picture. <laughs> oh my god. This is amazing. <laughs> it's so difficult to do this. But it's so good. Look at that. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like that. <laughs> oh, there it is, man. There's the clip of the week right there. Those eyes. <laughs> Chat. I if know you, you guys want to know what's going on on the if you're listening to the podcast, you just gotta go to Twitter and and see what just happened because it's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. But like back to Destiny, I yeah. had a jam packed week. Actually it was just one day and it was today. Um, I got me a Queen Breaker bow. You mean just the Queen Breaker you got? No, no, I just, <laughs> I just, no, we had that discussion earlier, so I had to get get a little rise out of you. already made uh, me upset. Yeah, I got that Queen Breaker. It's awesome. It's fun. It's about time I got one. And then I got dragged into a Scourge of the Past raid today with Pope Bear and WTF Game Nation and uh, a 
couple other people that were kind enough, uh, way better at raiding that raid than me and Pope. So it was cool. We got, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like we definitely got carried, but there was a few things where they're like, nah, you guys need to like do this. And like Pauly Shore wasn't in the raid with you. Walk, dude. I wish. How about Donna Lewis? No. Do you even know who but, Donna Lewis like, is? Yeah, she sings like that one of those 90s songs, right? Yeah. It's my there was only like one part where, because like, I mean, jumping puzzles are cool. There isn't really like a jumping puzzle per se. Like, my favorite part, hands down, was when you're on the sparrows <clears throat> and you're yeah. flying through. I, we've, we've talked about that several times that that would be cool addition to the raid. And so it's cool to see that implemented and you got that big ass servitor chasing you down. So that mm -hmm. was a lot of fun. Um, but there's just like one little portion where you got to make a couple jumps. And of course, uh, I was kind of struggling there. I get really nervous when I go into a raid full of people who know what they're doing and I have no clue what is going on. Like, I get... Cause no, you know that's what I that. love because I tell them right off the bat, listen, <coughs> no idea that's what the what fuck's going on. That's exactly what I said. But, uh, I mean, I'm no, like, professional gymnast. I'm no Mary Lou Retton. Like, you know, I can't... <laughs> leap around all nimbly bimbly and graceful so you know i, I failed a few jumps on the on the, the tiny little jump puzzle yeah, but you look a little bit more like gary Busey. i'll take that yeah he's got some good teeth have you seen those pearly whites man just no just saying what do you mean no it's hard not to they're like half the size of his face <laughs> when he i don't know I think what? Wilson Wilson might be more of like a, a Dean Cameron. like can could you see him inventing like something crazy like the Segway right Who's that? <laughs> Dean Kamen. He invented a Segway. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But uh, it was cool. Uh, one down, uh, one off the list. That means I only have to do Last Wish still. So I'd least like to get one of those done at some point in time. Um, yeah, it was cool. I did all the Forge stuff today now that the, the Forge was opened up and stuff. So I was like, saw a video. You know, I, I'm watched a lot of aztec cross his videos he yeah. uh, had a review on the the new sniper and i was like dude i'm pumped man i want to get this thing and yeah i kind of got hit by a little bit of an rng wall at this point like mm. i mean i still got you know plenty of time to grind out the forge and get that bounty but i was like okay maybe i won't get the sniper maybe i'll get the you know the mega man blaster fusion rifle you know what i mean so i did my two powerful frames for the week no, I didn't get it from that. So I guess it's going to be back to just like hitting the forge, looking for that bounty so I can get that sniper because everybody's hyping it up. Like it feels really good. And I didn't know that. I thought you had to have like four rounds to do the magazine trick. I didn't know that you could just load like two, three. It just you know, gets more yeah. powerful. Four. Yeah. Yeah. Up to yeah, four. Yeah. So just like according to the people who have done the research, it only takes like two rounds in there to kill a super with a headshot. Oh, yeah. Uh, Was it which two is, or three? Well, TV showed three. Three. On an arc it's, a, normal, it's, a normal sniper of that archetype, you bang somebody in the face twice with a sniper, like they're, they're dead. So. Well, sure. it's three. You're right, Triton. It's three. It just what I was thinking of was the description of the perk. Oh, that look. Over <laughs> what? What is Hope giving us that look for? Hope also did say three to his credit. Hope did also say. So, oh, okay. You know, I see it. But that's fine that you didn't credit Hope. I, mean, I don't want any credit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, clearly you do because you did the whole. <laughs> Excuse me. Thing, like, I'm not here. <laughs> brr, brr. Well, Wilson, we had a great week in Destiny we too. We did. Shout we out did. To Triton. Take we did have a good week. Uh, Wilson and I teamed up to uh, help him unlock the third forge, and it also helped me do another, another frame in the third forge. So that was pretty cool. Um, mostly because that inside terminus nightfall. You know, just you rather be a little bit more lazy than having to be like super cautious to get that done. So uh, good times bad. there. Uh, the early part of the week, I got to play with uh, Watts ND, who came back, our clan mate. So I always uh, really enjoyed playing with Watts. Nice. So I'm um, glad he came back, and we did a little uh, PvP. I think it was almost a week ago we did that like maybe friday or something like that so good times there i think my i've gotten most of the things i wanted to do in destiny done i think i have 650 across every single weapon and every single piece of armor now on all three so i'm kind of at that point now where i can just stock up on the cores for the next game so shout out to my kids for doing all the milestones that i don't want to do in pve because it's just it's an awesome blessing i have so many so many of those you things done without having to do though. anything i just come back on my account and i have like eight pieces of 650 gear that i didn't i'm reporting to you to sony <laughs> i'm messaging you my account information now it'd be like yo if you guys don't get good grades you gotta level his <laughs> you gotta level up so. hey <laughs> wait right. a second i'm still stuck on 
you said you played PvP with Watts. Are you saying mm -hmm. you played sixes? Is that what you meant to say? Um, well, we did play sixes, but I didn't get to play <laughs> with the normal crew. Litlin wasn't. He had to leave, like, right away. Uh, Chibi left after a while. So I did get to play with Watts for, like, three or four games. So oh, I think nice, that's the most nice. we were able to get in that night. So I'm glad he's um, back. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, able to come back. So pretty full week in Destiny overall. I'm at the point in the quest for the Sniper where I need to do the Shattered Throne, I believe. Oh. So I do have a rare bounty, so I'm like halfway through it. So that really worked out that I don't have to start a new one. I don't have to worry about getting one. I just have to finish the one I have. Uh, and then I do need to do the Shattered Throne. Other than that, uh, I feel pretty good about the the progression of my characters. And yeah, good times. Nice. Well, y'all didn't send a we'll... phone cover, unfortunately, though. I didn't, I didn't gift anybody. So. <laughs> yeah, you can't. You I should have got everybody on the podcast one of those. Of me, not oh, of their selves. Yeah, no, absolutely of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, that picture is amazing. I would probably put, I would put it on my phone. I'm actually in the market for another I said I'd uh, take phone one. case. I'll send you one. I'll take one. I'll pay for it. I, I mean, Just I have it know. saved on gocustomized.com. We are not sponsored. Not, not <laughs> yet. Yeah. Well, normally, <laughs> normally yeah, I would be the one to, I feel like, keep us on track. But this week, it might be more so y'all three, because I feel like I'm more out of the loop. I started kind of doing some new work this week and am still stuck in PUBG and haven't been able to put in the time in Destiny that I think it deserves right now, because there's a lot going on. I did see everything going on with the uh labs this week and was just like uh yeah what is happening Ooh. i don't understand which is interesting because it's the first thing hove no i was just we'll gonna say i'm gonna so bad i'm gonna have claw add that phone case to the resolute store <laughs> <laughs> so that everybody including our listeners can purchase one. Oh my gosh that's awful He's um, sweeping the nation but yeah, the labs, because uh, there was a big thing that happened with that. With before we could even get to the third forge, we fourth. had to solve fourth. Sorry, thanks, Triton. Fourth forge. Thank you, Triton. Um, before we could even get there, <laughs> fuck you, Hope. We had to get these labs done, and no one could figure it out. And Bungie was just kind of like, okay, before uh, you know, we actually are able to figure it out as a community. We don't want to. We don't want to gate people. Uh, through this super difficult way um, and let everyone through. That was kind of a, like the community, I feel like most of the people we know on Twitter saw that happen and were like, well, uh, you know, you're kind of split on opinion. It was like, it would have been cool to see it play out and see all our favorite streamers beat this thing. But at the same time, you know, you had so many players complaining that they couldn't get to the content they felt like they paid for. Uh, what do you guys thing. think about that? That's the uh... thing, everyone, everyone has like, their reason to be upset about it you know what i mean and i'm not gonna sit here and be like i'm, I'm not like not picking a side for the sake of like just not picking a side like hove is gonna elaborate a little bit more on that but i see why everyone's upset but then begs the question of like it's it's a freaking video game man like it's it's, it's i see it's everyone not has the their reasons upset and that why... bothers me it's the extent it is no, no, ridiculous. no i get it. it and i'm really me and hove kind of talked a little bit earlier and i'm really excited for hove to kind of shed his opinion on this but like it I'm you not. can't <laughs> we wanted a hard puzzle for stuff we got a hard puzzle and it's just bad press to not like release the content because like they thought we were gonna blow through that that day and get it open you know what i mean and then mm. everyone was gonna get to enjoy it and stuff like that i understand why they just released it i don't think it was disrespectful to the people that were in there still trying to solve the puzzle i really don't it's yeah. because it needed to be done like people yeah, were those people aren't gonna stop doing it they're not i was just telling home i was just watching uh people that are still in there right now working with raid secrets and just going through this massive list of combinations of things to shoot you know they made they made a really hard puzzle and either it's not that hard like a lot of uh some people were like trying to drop hints like saying like you guys are really overthinking it on twitter and stuff like that and i think it's a really cool thing i don't think it was a cool thing like i, I think this sounded and looked um fucking amazing on paper you know yeah. what i mean like the it's this big master plan it looks really cool on paper but like when you try to implement it with the final forge 
I, I just felt like it was kind of implemented wrong. Like I felt like it should have kind of almost been its own thing and not mm. associated with the forges in its, in its own way. Like it, it kind of should have been there for the hardcore people to do it and take their time. But it, the rest of the community shouldn't be waiting for them so that they can do something. So more it's like an amazing out- idea. It was really cool. It just needs a few tweaks. That's so more like Outbreak Prime, basically. Like that was a super complicated cool. thing, and you got a special thing for doing it, but you didn't have to. Uh, it, other content wasn't blocked out because of it. There was just like the one it an, reward. It was an opt-in thing, and then plus after that, once like people did get it and figure it out. There was just groups going in, just helping everybody get that gun. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it took a little while, but like you know, after a f- several months, you know, a vast majority of the community had that gun because it was awesome. Um, I'm not in the position to to you know run a game and have all the answers. I just have the ability to sit back and see things from every position and understand why casuals were upset, hardcore people were upset and whoever else is upset everybody's point, upset you know what i mean but go go ahead hope i know you 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 got some very interesting <coughs> he's got something all right <coughs> <laughs> easy there easy there buddy i know that um, that phone case is dashing and breath it is <laughs> it stole my breath um well no my thing before wilson and i had a really good conversation and agreed on some things we disagreed to a point um here's I think the way it went down and released was different than the way Bungie saw it. So back it up, pretend we don't know anything. Okay. And I think the way Bungie kind of foresaw this was because remember the fourth forge was not on the roadmap. It was three forges and IOB labs. And we were like, I wonder what that is. Right. So the way Bungie, I think saw this coming was, Hey, today, Niobe labs releases. People work on Niobe Labs for however long they think it, you know, however long it ends up taking. And then kind of like to a much smaller degree, but remember when we first finished Leviathan, it opened, oh, hey, thanks for beating it. There's a map now. Yeah. Type of thing. The problem is that we found out about the fourth forge. Hmm. Yeah. And that ruined, and I'm not, either way, you know, the, the setup was the same. But if nobody knew about the fourth forge and this was the new thing, hey, there's this big puzzle, it's going to take a long time, blah, blah, blah. And this was the new content. And then when it got done, they were like, this unlocked a new forge, thanks to da 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 da. That would have completely changed the way this went down. Right? Yeah, that would have been dope. Right. And I think that's how it was perceived to have gone. Because this fourth forge mm-hmm. was never on the roadmap. It just, you know, was found out whether it was data mining or, or guess, I, you know, I, I don't know where it first came from, but we knew there was a forge. And then so then to that extent, we knew we couldn't get to that forge until this was finished. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah no, that makes a lot of sense. It's like the the whole last wish, you know, once you finish that, no one knew that things were going to change. Yeah. And so when it did, everyone was like, wait, what? Like everybody freaked. Now, if you so. were, if people were sitting there going, cause honestly, and that's a really good point now that you, because if they told us, Hey, there's this new stuff that's going to unlock when someone beat the raid and it was an 18 hour raid. It was so long. Yeah. Don't, is that any different? Would people have been like, I can't do anything until these really good raid people. I mean, it's exactly the same. It's, it's just it's the, the order same. we found yeah. out the information and that's where the problem lies. I think. I agree with you. I think so too. I think it's a really good point. Like, it, it makes sense. Like, it's tough. I mean, it, it's a tough situation. Like, they we've been asking them to take chances and try something different, and they did. You know what I mean? And I'm never gonna fault somebody for that. Like, it those kind of, the people who are the the lore masters and the raid secrets guys. Like, they are a breed of their own in this community. Like, they love. Hmm. getting down to the nitty gritty and like the super hard stuff. And I do think it is really cool that they've got a chance to like shine and stuff like that. But like, I totally agree with Hove. Like had we all not been sitting around going, looking at our watches going, did anybody beat it yet? Did anybody beat it yet? Like knowing that there was something else behind it. Like if they just would have been like, this is the four or uh, this is the lab, figure it out. Yeah. It would have been really cool. And then like, you know, there's the, thing too like in order to get the sniper you have to do the um what the heck's it called the um the shattered throne is this mm-hmm. week 
So like that's kind of part of it. And like it's tough, man. It's a tough situation. But like, you know, people who play this game, like, you know, we'll be back that week when there is a shattered throne to do yeah. it. You could bet your ass, you know, it's mm. gonna be plastered all over Twitter in your feed, like you know, shattered throne week. So it, it's cool. Like I don't want them to completely dismiss something like this in the future. I just Yeah, same. Yeah. I, what a... I, I'm I'm totally okay with not knowing. Like I am not a puzzle guy. You know what I mean? This is not yeah. my thing. This like... one's way too high for that. <clears throat> it's true, man. I could barely so, do like a two dimensional puzzle piece. I uh, <laughs> I had been out of town for work for a few days, so I hadn't touched Destiny pretty much over the weekend and in the early part mm -hmm. of this week. And then I got home Wednesday afternoon, yesterday. And you know what? Uh, by that point, it was right around when they made the decision to just unlock it the, mm -hmm. the the last forge and it was very clearly by the hour that they did it, it was just a hey how quick can we do this let's do it on this hour it wasn't like like i would have been happy I, I get that they caved and honestly people are doing oh you caved to people complaining i also do think part of it is that they know their their hardcore community well enough that some of those people had been streaming and playing for damn near 24 hours straight and you even had some of the people who usually do that stuff like i saw goth tweeting like this isn't healthy. Like people don't, but people are always going to do it. They want to be the first. They want to get it done. Yeah. Um, I would have been okay. I would have been happier if they would have just said it'll unlock tomorrow on reset. You have till tomorrow on reset to try to, you know, blah, blah, blah. But either way, to be completely honest, I still haven't touched it because I am just so exhausted and, and fed up with the way it was, received and i don't mean people aren't allowed to be unhappy people aren't allowed you know have criticisms but god like every you know one side was pissed and then the other side was pissed and no one it's just this like echo chamber on twitter of people mm. you know yelling how upset they are and how this is so stupid and bungee stupid and this sucks and like that's great, but, like, it's just exhausting to read all that and to keep up with it. And it completely, honestly made me have absolutely no desire to go in there and play it. Because I was just tired of it. I was done with it. And, I mean, there's been, there's been a lot of that for me. Not to this extent. Like, this time, like I said, the idea sounds awesome. I want to see it. But, like, right now, I'm just done with it. Like, I don't want to hear about it. And I don't mean, like, us talking about it. Just, like, it got, I just was done with it. And it's funny because this has kind of been a build up. Like there's a lot of times that that's kind of been that way for me that like the constant bitching. And like I said, criticism, complaining, opinions are fine, but the way they are gone about many times. Mm. There's, there's a difference it's... between just saying what's on your mind and then trying to offer cr constructive criticism. I didn't like this because of ABC. Not this and... is fucking stupid. Me, me, me. You know? Like, yeah, exactly. Like, and then just insults. You know what I mean? Like, which yeah. is the majority of Twitter. Yes, welcome to the world of Twitter. Most people would say, but like, Hove hit the nail on the head earlier when he said the thing that made this game yeah, yeah. shine is what's ruining it for me right now. Correct? Like, the uh, community I mean, used the... to be so strong that brought you into the game, and now that everyone is bickering and bitching, and nothing good is becoming of it it's really becoming a downer to you. Like it's starting to like turn you off. And I don't want to say nothing because there is still, you know, there are definitely still people that are positive. There's people that are having fun. There are people that can put their constructive True. criticism out there. Well, yes. and it's, it's mostly, you know, it's the internet, it's Twitter, but I don't it's know. Man. That just, dude. yeah, it literally exhausts me. Like I just don't yeah. want to put up with it. I wonder if that plays into the way I feel about things right now. Cause I feel like for me, it's different. It's, it's more like just a, I need a, a, a refresh, like kind of stepping back for a second, play another game and then jump back in. And it, and it, I feel like it's working too, because today after, you know, even after all the, what I kind of missed, even all of that, that whole conversation and that whole debate and all the people getting angry, I kind of missed all that because I just had been staying away from everything. And I come back today past all that. And I just see all these new weapons out in the wild, like Yotun, the fusion rifle, you know, and the sniper rifle, all the reviews about it. And I'm like, this looks pretty awesome. Like, mm -hmm. that's what I came back to. I, I came back to 
um you know uh chic uh dfp and uh uh asked across like you were saying wilson like all talking about um the fusion rifle or the sniper rifle and i was like and i just started watching some clips of it people using that yotun gun and i was like yo this is like this might be my play style like this and this one gun might be for me you know and so it makes me want to jump back in and do the stuff to get the thing and then go try it out and then i'm playing multiplayer playing sixes you know trying out how that gun works and with my build if it could work out uh and so i'm excited to jump back in right now um i agree I with you on every one of those points all that stuff looks awesome and i want it mm-hmm. but i just don't like Oh yeah, no, no. I don't, I don't know. I I, I, I feel you, Hove. I, I I'm just putting out there, like for me, like I I have been in a place of like I haven't been super excited to play, and and it's nice to take that step back to come back refreshed, you know. And I don't think that's a bad thing. Anybody who feels that way, that's cool. You don't have to announce it on Twitter. You don't have to tell anybody you're taking a break. I know a lot of people do but that. But you don't even have to make that's a public fine. Service announcement. It's the yeah, that's way people too. project these things, and then yeah. it becomes constant uh-huh. arguing and bitching and. It's, it's, you know, we've always said you're not going to please everybody. You know, you're, you're always going to have two different sides, but it's just, I don't know what's changed. Maybe I'm, I, I don't know. It's just, it's literally like exhausting. Like I used to mm. open Twitter and like want to scroll through and like find thing, you know, see what people were talking about. Now it's like, dear God, like I just, please stop. Like, well, you know, a lot of people, I'm. I've, there's a lot of people I've muted on Twitter recently just for the same thing that Hope said like Twitter was such a cool place to go and be like oh like uh, you know some goofy ass clip that Hove had or some fusion rifle montage or you know that Lego had or Triton slaying some people in the crucible and you know being a good guy helping people through stuff but you've, you know but you just don't see as much of that anymore and like it's very healthy to just take a step away catch a breath yeah and come back because the well, game will be here and if you and your friends take a break you can all get a hold of each other and come back when you think it's fresh and it's good mentality i think that's healthy i think that's very healthy i do it all the time mm-hmm. there's there's many days that go by that i won't play destiny when i get fed up about something about my shit rng mm-hmm. or whatever but like you know you go play other games it's fun sometimes it's healthy. and then we- sometimes you just need to get away and and you know jump start some cellular respiration Sometimes, man. sometimes it's not even you know the community <laughs> like that Ooh. or sometimes it's not even the, the game you know we talked a lot about stepping away from the game sometimes it's about stepping away from the community for a second like just playing solo for because i i lately i've been playing a lot of PUBG on ps4 as you know i've talked about like the last three episodes but like it's a good solo game for me to just go and chill by myself and sometimes that's just what i need especially if the community is being super toxic right now then I can just go off by myself for a little bit. But hopefully, you know, all of that said, I do hope that, th- you know, this is one of the reasons I feel like I started, wanted to start Resocast in the first place was because at the time that we started this, we were at what, like year three of Destiny 1 and, or at least the end of year two, something like that. And well, we're at over two yeah. years. So we started we started with rise of iron we started at the beginning of year year three, three mm-hmm. destiny one yeah uh-huh and so um before that uh, a little before we had a couple that, yeah. in the summer. Just, i'm sorry Maybe. i'm derailing it go ahead yeah but anyway <laughs> like the reason why is because like a lot of people were hating on destiny for so many different things there was negativity in the community it those were the days when it took a very very long time for the gun meta to change uh and there and just like people were upset all the time and i could hear it in certain podcasts and and just the way that people were talking i didn't want to listen to those people or be involved in in certain communities because it just felt like it made me like the game less when i was enjoying it myself and so hopefully you know i feel like whenever we talk about the game it's not in a way of like we're not going to talk about the bad things because obviously we do like we talk we've been talking today about this quest line and like what could have been better you know what maybe they intended and stuff like that like we're critiquing but i feel like this place can always be a place where people can come listen to stuff about the game and you know it take they they don't take out of here this negativity to be like oh, i should like this game the feeling of liking the game less even though they don't personally think so um so hopefully that's what we can provide mm-hmm. like that environment to just critically think of the game rather than 
you know, picking it apart and being any sort of toxic other than towards each other. Destiny, my first shit. step is I'm my first quitting. step is right now <laughs> on the podcast. For now, getting rid of Twitter on my phone, so I'm oh, wow. going to be able to check it at home. Like it's it's true. whoa, like, dude, it's the thing. We still it's... need you to like keep up with Rezocast Twitter here, Wilson. I can still <laughs> use some help here. on my computer. Don't it's you true. worry about it. It's I true. do all that retweeting and stuff from my computer at home anyway. Like, but dude, but the point being, that's good. It like, dude, Hope's right, man. Like, it it it's freaking exhausting and it, and it makes me not want to play the game sometimes because of like like you said normally you get hyped about seeing people's accomplishments what they're doing funny clips things like that and yeah it's just a debbie downer and it's contagious so peace twitter on the phone for now only going to be checking in on the pc when i'm at home now, and stuff so we're not going to probably get quite as deep into it as wilson and i did but we we kind of when we were just discussing this earlier uh, mm -hmm. kind of transitioned that and, and kind of got to the point of like the way the whole games as a service type of thing is moving forward mm. that like mm. that's and maybe this is maybe this is where we really start to show that we're like on the older spectrum of I gamers I guess that. in your 30s uh, yeah but like th that's that's just like the way this stuff is like it, it's like well it's games as a service i want this right now and i want it you know to be this way and i'm going to complain if it's not and like you want to keep getting all these things and you know i some of the best times i've had recently were god of war and spider-man and and even even something like PUBG, which yeah has a season pass but for the most part it's just a self-contained go in have some fun for a little bit and get out yeah uh -huh. um, it's a party shooter yeah <laughs> party shooter you go in nah, like for real dude like it's a when we play together do we have a blast we're hooting we're hollering hope smacking me in the back of the with head us. With, it's been a while but i do remember a certain person smacking me in the back of the fucking head with a frying pan when we were driving away and it knocked me <laughs> out of the vehicle that wasn't me out of the vehicle Hove. Is that me? it was a one hit ko it was a one hit or quitter was that me yeah it was you same thing you with uh playing sixes in destiny it's just but, like a it's just like yeah. a party when you do that yeah, it's the like me and Hove were saying earlier, this whole games as a service thing's like really turning me off. Like and I said, mm. that's why some of the best games of the year were Spider Man, Red Dead, God of War. That's why all that stuff was up for nominations, was because it's a game and you know not even necessarily that you know what you're getting, but it's like curb your expectations like a little bit. Like you're getting a game, you're getting a finished product, you're supposed to play it. Maybe in a couple months you'll get a little bit of DLC that kind of expands on a little bit. But, like, mm. I, I just, I, I don't know. And it's not necessarily that I want Destiny to go back to that, but I, I just think that there's a reason why those games were, like, such big nominees for Game of the Year. Is I don't think it's so much a problem with the game. I think it's what it instills in the community and the expectations. Well in, said. Any, in any community. Well said. Do you know what I mean? Because Damn, then... The we're agreeing tonight that hell has frozen over. We, we always yeah, agree. We're like peanut no, we butter don't. and jelly. We just rub all over each other. Um, <laughs> you got peanut butter in my jelly. <laughs> I don't know how that even, but on a more positive note, I did realize, and I was telling, I think it was Wilson. I was telling this. Uh, I realized, cause you know, I had really been back and forth on like God of War and Spider-Man, like which one I thought was better type of thing. You know, does anyone? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm, I'm I think it's you. pretty clear. <laughs> I, now I'll still see articles that pop up about God of War, like you know whether it's ideas they had for DLC or some of the stuff about production or whatever. And every time I see one of those, I get this like intense urge to like go revisit that world and go through it again. <laughs> I definitely think God of War for me was better than Spider Man. You know how much I love wow. I love Spider Man. Yeah. God of War hands down I think was the best game I played this year. It might be one of my favorite games. Probably is one of my favorite games of all time. Dad of War. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, Boy. just some of the little things, like, I'll, <laughs> I'll see, I'm trying to think what I saw. Oh, one of the things I went back and watched, uh, I'll link it in chat because it's really, really good. Uh, there's this YouTube channel that I think I've mentioned before. Um, I don't even remember what it's called. It's some acronym. It's like UNIM or something. But they take video games and they make trailers for that game in the style of a recent popular movie. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. So the one was um it was God of War Logan style. 
So it had that uh, way down we go song, but it was scenes and and whatnot, but it was cut exactly the same way. So if there was a part uh-huh. where the song stopped and there was dialogue in the Logan trailer, they did the same thing with God of War. Um, there's a Mission Mission Impossible 6 style trailer for Uncharted 4. There's all kind of, like, if, if watch this, whoever whoever's around, and I'm putting this in chat, it is so good. And if it doesn't make you want to play God of War, then you have no heart. <laughs> but then check well, out their channel. It's really good. This conversation, though, that, that we're having about, like, the way games are made and stuff like that, I think transitions pretty well into kind of the next big thing that we're everybody, I'm sure, is wanting to hear us kind of talk about and speculate My on. Pe- no. Well, like, I just want to give my two cents on the, on the last topic that we have before. Yeah, we go for it. Yeah, I was, and I think a lot absolutely. of people, you know, who was going to be satisfied? So I think Bungie's in a position where, you know, you're trying to present a roadmap to somebody, so you're trying to set expectations, but you're also trying to weave in secrets. So to Hove's point, this was an attempt yeah. to do both of those things because so many people talk out of both sides of their mouth. And I think one of the problems that they have and that they consistently run into is people have fallen off. The delta between a casual and a hardcore player in Destiny is a very different timeline than it is for a lot of other games, I feel. Because mostly you're talking about a game that's been around for four years. So we're, how do you package something that's going to be digested well for somebody who was really good for forsaken but the first time that they didn't really enjoy what black armory was and how it was delivered they fell off and they're unhappy and then how do you market that to somebody who was going to do niobe labs for 27 hours and how do you kind of push that out to somebody who didn't really want to come back for forsaken and all those people because that's really what a casual is in destiny it's not just one you know three month period we're talking potentially you know four years here uh maybe you know only two so much for destiny two or, or one or whatever but I think that's kind of what they run into as well. And it makes it difficult to try to do all these things that people are asking and then, you know, not have people be upset no matter what. And I do agree with all the points about, you know, there's ways to go about doing this. But, you know, if you're going to ask for something, you're going to demand for something. It obviously can't always be tailored to just like one specific group because there's just so many of those groups in Destiny at this point. It's not just casual and hardcore. I really feel there's such a big middle ground for this game. Uh, that is far larger than many uh, that it's impossible for them to kind of satisfy that in a lot of ways and you know I'm not one who's really turned off from what the community is because like personally I can be motivated to knock out triumphs on my own like I literally ran around as a warlock and did like 50 swift strike kills with the melee to get the (laughs) triumph recently like it's just so I don't really care Um, I'll do stuff like that randomly or I'll tell my kids to make sure they melee more in the strikes or something so (laughs) it all helps but um you know, as I kind of see everyone's you know opinion coming in through Twitter, like everybody else, I just realized like, wow, so this person was somebody who kind of fell off during the Black Armory. They didn't like that maybe, you know, why are they never seemingly getting this right on a first go? Or why they, you know, they know a lot of things. So you have that group. And then you have people who are constantly satisfied. And then like Lego, like you said, you're not a casual by any means, but you just happen to take a break for a couple of days and come back yeah. at a different point in time. So it's just really not something that they can do. So I really applaud the risk that they're taking um, because, you know, there's, it's really easy to just, you know, we talk about maybe caving and releasing the forge. I think it's really easy just to maybe play it safe constantly uh, with, you know, content release and stuff like that. And it would be dry. And, you know, it made me think about that because Hove was talking about God of War and potential DLCs versus, you know, Spider-Man. And, you know, we both had the game. I think I, I haven't played the third DLC, Hove. I don't me know either. if you have, no. but to, that was kind of the thing is that the game was fine on its own. The first DLC was fine because, you know, spoilers, it kind of pulled in a, an aspect you didn't get to explore in the base game. But like, I know what number three is about not that interested and it's a very play it safe formula is it not i mean especially with mm. the trophies i mean you just do this you're just doing that again i do think they you know, that there was its own overarching story that gets wrapped up that was just in the dlcs though from what i understand the whole uh the magia and the hammerhead i believe that all gets wrapped up in the third one in like, the third one like the dlcs I, I was, had their own overarching okay. thing too. so they had they did have some kind of like I think, ultimate time i yeah. wasn't really you know i saw silver sable she was not one of my favorite parts of the uh no. the main story or whatever so uh, but i think you know taking a risk doing it differently but when you're trying to provide a m- roadmap and then saying like oh we also want you to be able to uncover xyz but we can't tell you this but now you think this is happening i mean that's that's tough. So, I mean, in terms of the feedback, in terms of what you're giving, you have to kind of be careful what you're asking for because, you know, it's not going to come in 100% the way you want when Bungie has to kind of consider so many different groups that they have to deliver the content to. It just doesn't really make uh, a lot of sense. Either you're in it or you're not. So, <laughs> yeah. I'm not laughing at you, Trident. Sorry, I'm laughing at chat. 
I, I, am I like, I you got to yeah. weigh your two cents in on it as well, man. Cause I think everybody's just making some valid points and it just shows you that there's just so many different angles that you could approach this thing. Like it's, it's and one is being completely upset. I suppose. I mean, you, could, you can do that. <laughs> I mean, if you want to, I guess, you know, you could choose to, I, I just don't know like why you would choose to. Uh... My, my no, thing. Yeah. And, and we've, we've discussed this so many times is no matter how you feel about it, going about it, publicly in that sense isn't going to fix the thing that you're unhappy about so no. don't do it i mean you're not you're not going to make it any better just chill out put some tunes on and go play something different for a while it'll be yeah. fine or or do what wilson did and delete Smoke twitter from your phone oh, oh <laughs> i was like go play pokemon go that's not a healthy yeah, game yeah that either that, they, that they doesn't help it's, they say okay. it's a healthy game it's not no don't play that game. <laughs> See, I've been telling everyone that. I'm just looking out. Well, I can't uh, stop. there is, can't you know, stop, speaking trident of what everybody wants and the different opinions that everybody has right now. And, you know, y'all were talking about the different ways y'all like to consume a game, uh, whether it's subscription or just a game as it is a standalone thing. Like, everything kind of just went up in the air as of today. Mm -hmm. Um... Bungie has announced that they are separating from Activision as their publishing company, and they will be just an independent game studio, Bungie, uh, producing Destiny. So can so, we be like gaming hipsters and tell everyone, like, Ugh, I only play indie games like Destiny. Can I do that now? <laughs> I don't know if that works when you have millions of people playing your game. Maybe. Uh, it's still indie indie has nothing to do with how many people play it. Yeah, okay. Independent developer. Yeah. There we go. So yeah, AAA but, indie game boys. I really feel like ev everyone's super excited for this. Like on Twitter, <laughs> like it is on fire right now because everybody sees the potential of anything could happen. I just you know I, I mean? real quick, I thought of something <laughs> I, to kind of end that. Um, and, and this kind of goes into the whole moving forward where Destiny's going to go. Can what we else is end coming that up. yet? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Go home. Um, He's giving you the look. So I know. <laughs> my thing, I specifically saw somebody, I don't know who it was, and I don't remember exactly what the complaint was or anything, <laughs> but this was prior to... Um, <laughs> Sorry, Destiny Independence Day is yeah. in chat really got me. Uh, this was before the whole <laughs> Niobe Labs blow up. This was like last week or something. But I saw somebody on Twitter bitching specifically even even had the word or phrase or whatever pvp in the the bitching bitching about the pvp and then said god i can't wait for anthem i'll never play destiny again oh are you gonna play anthem pvp is that what you're gonna play you fucking idiot like, <laughs> like <laughs> those, <laughs> those are the kind of listen if you were ding, upset ding, ding, if you fight, boys. if you were upset with Destiny in general and Anthem is something you may want to move on to they're similar enough I think that I could see that happening and Anthem is going to take some people but to complain about Destiny's PVP and and then say well cuz I fine fuck it I'll play Anthem it doesn't even have PVP <laughs> You'd have been better off those are the, division too Those are the kind of complaints <laughs> that I'm talking about that like you're not getting anything done well, you're going to you're going to quit Destiny because you hate their PvP to play a non-PvP game? I mean, sure, but... Whatever. I, I think this couldn't have <sighs> been announced at a better time for me because it was yeah. like the one piece of... In my opinion, like I said, you could spin this any which way you want. You could say, oh, this is the, the end of Destiny, but like, I think it's a good thing. I think it's awesome. I think it's a I've good thing. I've never liked Activision. Like... I, mm. they did one good Call of Duty game and then after that like they just kind of shit on everyone like mm. it's, I don't mean like good Call of Duty game like mechanics I mean like they really put a lot of good time and effort into it and you know it was before the whole microtransaction thing and stuff like that uh, and, yeah. you know everything's just a cash grab to Activision if it doesn't make a billion with a B then it's a failure and I'm not down with that I don't like the restrictions that a lot of publishers uh, put on game studios and some of the things that they pressure them into doing like you know things like microtransactions or just not allowing them to have like the freedom that they want but i feel like bungie was at their like sure they worked with microsoft when they did halo but i feel like they had a lot more freedom to just kind of do their own thing in my opinion and 
they were really in tune with the community and they've been doing that lately like they've been communicating more than they ever have as far as destiny is concerned and i think that's going to be a good thing for an independent developer i'm excited do you know what i thought was interesting um i read i was reading jason jason schreer's tweets when it was announced Mm. and then he Uh also had put up an article on kotaku and there was a part where he someone asked him like why he didn't um how long he kind of knew this was coming and he said he had an idea this was going to happen that the split was coming and not just from the fact that there's been tension he said for about the last week or so he'd been hearing rumblings but he didn't want to announce it until he knew it was going to happen and he said something that i thought was interesting maybe i'm reading too much into the way into the meaning of it but he said something about the meeting they had today before they announced it was about who was going to get destiny which i thought was Mm. interesting because this wasn't just like a hey let's figure out how to split it sounded like they were splitting and it was whether activision was going to keep the rights to destiny or if bungie was going to take them with them yeah this wasn't like an awkward like yeah i don't like you anymore and the other one's like yeah i don't like you either like we should probably just walk away right like no that's not how no there's so much invested in this Mm -hmm. yeah i think it's that's really like a win for the gaming community as a whole not even necessarily with destiny that like it feels like it maybe i could this could be a big maybe maybe bungie went in there and just slapped the gauntlet down and sent them you know like oh shit we thought we were gonna get or maybe it was actually civil and they realized that the best thing for the game was just to actually let bungie do their their own thing with it i can guarantee you one thing and that is whatever went down it was financially motivated oh absolutely whether it was you know like i like True. and it's, it could that could still look civil you know I, i'm just saying you're right whatever happened it was financially motivated by both parties to make it happen um uh, and you know what as much i wouldn't say on bungie's side it would be financially motivated i would say financials played a big part okay. in whether they could do it but i think on bungie's side the motivation was the opposite it was sure we need like we want to be able to have freedom an Activision, sure, I, you know I just I mean? mean it happened through money. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. It was probably an Activision's I best agree. interest to just quote unquote cut and run, like I said, because it didn't bring in a billion with a B. Yeah, uh-huh. you know what I mean? Like, I feel like they were like, oh, we'll make this look all civil and Activision will finally do the right thing. Bullshit. There's always a motive with Activision, dude. Yeah, and mm-hmm. it starts with dollar dollar bills, y'all. Yeah. So. But it's just so exciting, and I think the whole, like you said, Wilson, it's a win for the gaming community, and I think that, that like, kind of yeah. hits, well, that's what we're seeing on Twitter right now. Everybody's like, yo, anything could happen right now. As far as a consumer, it's, like, a win It's a sure. possible as, win. But, it depends yeah, on where they win. go from here. Yeah, you're sure. right. Anything doesn't necessarily mean your thing. Yeah. So, I mean, the free, and, and you know, pe- people, again, we talk about, you know, I just said people talk out of both sides of their mouths, and I think people have a hard time, like, disseminating, like, what that exactly means. Um, the other side of that, too, is there's a lot of times where, and I don't understand the inner workings of, like, the relationship between a game company and a publisher, um, and, and understand it deeply. So, mm-hmm. there's a lot of things that were always pushed onto its Activision's fault. Maybe all of those were warranted, right? Maybe all of them were. Um, but that does put pressure on Bungie to a degree um, as they are no longer going oh, to yeah. have that. And not to say yep. anybody on Bungie's part ever came out and said it's Activision's fault. Never saw anything like that. I literally said these account, exact th- same thing to Wilson earlier. Yeah. <laughs> that really does put them in a position where mm-hmm. now it's only them, right? So yeah. in, in some ways that's great, right? We all are celebrating that and so forth. But just like we talked about and people being upset, there's going to be a crowd that whenever they start doing their thing, doesn't love it now maybe they don't say all oh, only activision was around um but just you know people should be careful being able to do everything doesn't mean it's going to be your thing and remember bungie kind of wanted a little bit more of a timeline for certain things too as i think matt put a pretty good comment in chat here matt grundy that doesn't necessarily mean like dlcs are gonna start flying off the shelves here no, too exactly. they may take more time to develop oh yeah yeah and, and hope you mentioned wording and something what i thought was really cool in the bungie release is one of the things was like, you know, we know that with Forsaken, you guys all enjoyed this. And yeah. part of me took that as Bungie had a lot to do with Forsaken, but maybe uh-huh. all this implementation with Black Armory and stuff like that wasn't all them, right? Because we know, uh-huh. you know, this is maybe one of those things that's pressed. Now, again, 
that could be looking way corner. too much into it. Could be a conspiracy <laughs> corner. But not saying, not saying that like we know since Forsaken and now with Black Armory, you're enjoying this, 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 ah. this. And when you think about some of the things people haven't been upset with, or you know happy with timelines, the way things are coming out and everything else, you know that could have been an influence on it as well. Uh, and it's no surprise that if these meetings have been going on maybe for months and maybe a big one today, you know, and and that's you know just what one day removed from making a decision to kind of unlock everything you wonder what the relationship's been like since black armory which has not been obviously as well received as forsaken so again that could be a complete con conspiracy and so forth but um that's where i'm at on it. i'm very excited um, i'm very excited to see what they do going forward because at the very least they're not going to have to they're not beholden to somebody like here's what we want to put out that yes. activision's like well i don't know about this right that's not going to necessarily be what they do um that's, that's a good point that's a good point i like, i do it's think it's very happen. telling though that they said that when it was announced to the employees at Bungie, there were champagne bottles being popped, among other things, that I can't mention. I can, but um, celebratory champagne, blah, blah, blah. So as far as how <laughs> Bungie internally feels about it, that's very telling, right? Like, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I didn't see any of that. That's really cool. Yeah, and, like, dude, I don't envy the – I always say this. I, I never envy the position that they're in right now. Oh, and it kind of oh, sucks man. that a lot of this – negativity from twitter like i hope they're not letting it rain on their day with all of this because they're clearly excited about cutting ties and being able to do their own thing wait they're wait totally wh capable of what's negative it. that's going on right now what do you what do people you mean are still complaining like hope i mean people are still doing that <laughs> okay no, I i've seen like, an overwhelming yeah. like majority no, of no no i don't mean about that situation i just like, mean this is awesome I just mean with all the negativity surrounding gotcha. like labs, yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't get my way, yada yada yada. Uh huh. I that see. stuff. I'm hoping that that's not raining on their parade. In my opinion, like, cause yeah, that's a huge thing. And like we said, like this doesn't mean like, oh shit, overnight we're safe, we're going back to the old mm -hmm. ways. But like, I had kind of had a similar conversation with Sam where I felt like Forsaken was more of like. Bungie's thing like we're going rogue we're gonna do it the way not that they like literally went rogue and said like fuck right. you Activision but like that they're like we want to do it our way we want to be embraced by the community we want to be in there having these conversations with good feedback and make and I feel like Forsaken was kick ass mm -hmm. it was yeah. really good um, like Triton said this doesn't really feel like their way of the, that they want to do things is this season pass like yeah, I'm curious. I'm curious how that's all gonna play out. Not not only that, but like like y'all y'all have all been saying like there's so much pressure on Bungie right now because it's just them now, and so it's like freedom and it's releasing and it's exciting, and at the same time there's a ton more pressure. Um, but what's gonna be so nice for us as a community is we don't have to wonder now if their decisions are being you know yeah. made with one hand behind their back while they're trying to make us happy and make the other people happy. And sure, they're still going to have to make money as a company. Like money is still going to be a factor for sure, but they will be doing that based off of their own goals and desires for their game as a company, like the ones who made it, which is always great. Like I, as a person who like loves movies and I know a lot of us do here, like I always love watching independent movies that are very controlled by the director to like see the director's vision for that movie. And sometimes it is a total failure and you're just like this guy, like what was he thinking with this thing? And sometimes it's brilliant and it is like something unlike anything else out there. And so right now Bungie has the chance to, you know, make that brilliant thing. And, you know, Bungie's already a game that we love. We love the feel of it and stuff like that. And so there's no telling what could actually happen here. Uh, and I'm really curious for y'all's thoughts on, like, you know, the conversation you were having earlier. Do you think it will go more towards a service style game or more towards regular releases? Well, like, I don't know how they're going to do the, uh, like, DLCs or, or you know, passes, how, whatever model they're going to use. I have no idea. But I think the one thing that is important, I, I would think that the way this is going to happen, maybe they'll do one more like Destiny 3 to kind of, I don't want to say reset everything because we had a bad experience with that, but kind of, you know, get a, a foundation for where they're going to go. But is I, I'm pretty sure it's factual that uh, part of the contract with Activision was full new releases every so often, right? A Destiny, a Destiny 2, mm -hmm. a Destiny 3. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
they don't have that anymore because yeah. they don't have a contract with anybody. So whether they can do it from right now or if they need one more, like I said, kind of soft reset, like maybe a Destiny 3, um, then they can just keep building on that the way we kind of had hoped they would, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. So if you fix something, it stays fixed and you keep adding on to that. Um, also, I did see on Twitter somebody tweeted, I thought this was very funny, I don't remember who it was, but they tweeted, uh, whoever beats Niobe Labs first... Uh, that's this is all the reason this is all being announced at the same time is whoever completes Niobe Labs wins the opportunity to be Bungie's publisher for the <laughs> moving on. <laughs> it's it's like the the IRL um, uh, Ready Player One. Is that what's happening here? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah it's the the Easter egg everyone's got to find. And also, uh, it's hard it's like to form any Willy Wonka getting that ticket. Mm. Yeah. Um, Golden ticket. Golden ticket. That's Did right. you guys see that there was a video? Uh, some guy put made his case for why Snowpiercer is a sequel to Willy Wonka. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's amazing. Look it up; I it's really cool. It. Dude, is Snowpiercer is an awesome movie. I love Snowpiercer. Yeah. Basically, the gist of it was there's this like society; these people have to work their way through this, like from one room to another. They lose people on their way. When the final character gets to the end to meet the rich person, he finds out it's nothing what he thought it was and they were looking for a successor just like Willy Wonka but anyway um, also it's really hard to speculate you know we're going to we have been we are but there's so many questions unanswered this is literally the first day we found out about like they just announced one of the biggest things they no longer have a publisher so there's no money coming from Activision they're already what a 900 person studio that's Mm got to be hard to keep afloat independent yeah don't um, expect microtransactions to go away. What ha- yeah. what happens with um, VV and High Moon? Because those are Activision-owned studios. Right. Yeah. Um, mm. I, I mean, there's a lot of, of things oh, that we don't right. know. It's a good point, mm. man. Yeah. That would be a bummer to see some of those guys. Like, because that, if that were to split, that would be a bummer. Even if we're more happy with the... Um, the way the content comes and if they're only building instead of resetting maybe they can make it a little bit faster but you're losing if you, if presumably you lose those two studios they're like it's shit isn't going to come faster with- so you're thinking that activision could pull the old like well we own these so you gotta find somebody else to like work on your pc port basically of Destiny. Mm-hmm. i mean i wouldn't even consider that a like like a, a shitty like they're going to pull that. I mean, hey, this it's is our company. Right. This is our company. They're part of our company. Yeah. We're no longer a partnership anymore, so we're we're mm-hmm. done. Like not you not even in a shitty way. Like that would be I reasonable. Could, I mean, yeah. And everyone said really seamless classy, transition. Though. We'll see what that turns out to be. Well, they're right, not going to say, know. "Hey, it's going to be fucked up." Right. Guys. Absolutely. So, I mean, like I'm hopefully that's accounted for. I mean, hope it seems like you know some of those other things that are going or some of the things that we talk about listening like that we know are going to continue, right? They've basically said everything in the roadmap as is will continue to happen correct so mm. and then also we know that the blizzard on battle nets going to continue to be supported i think blizzard even tweeted that out yeah, they did. Uh, okay. response that cool. as well um so we know some of those things for the listeners know that we are still going to get those you know what's on that roadmap that's still happening and you know if you're got this through battle Net, i don't know anything about the pc but that seems like it's going to still continue also playstation I- and yeah xbox have both tweeted very positively about looking forward to working with Bungie and blah 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 and all this stuff, and and by like PlayStation Xbox, Hove means like the execs, yeah. like the president and vice president of Xbox both publicly like congratulated Bungie. Bungie. So dope. Yeah, That's and then so, so did uh, PlayStation. Yeah, and and other studios were like wink facing Bungie, like hey that's cool you guys got off uh you know that activated yeah. but like i said that's cool now with the devil you made it out alive you know <laughs> this is it's a big possible step but say it crashes and burns that's only going to give publishers like activision more power from here on out so that's yeah this is a big could be a big turning point in the way Pitiful. things go yeah i personally feel like bungie knows its community pretty well that and i i would place bets in that direction like, i don't but i don't I'm, even I mean the thinking... game but if they lose all this manpower and the financial backing can they can they make oh. it work can they keep up can they make it work Can they get things out at a pace that keeps people happy i mean there's so it's many still, so many questions it's still borrow yeah. money from people who aren't publishers that can invest in your you know like i'm sure sony and 
Microsoft would be more than happy to be like, yeah, let me let me kick you a five spot so yeah, you can get that done. for some exclusives, which hopefully, yeah. hopefully that was that's a, done. I'm, everyone's pretty sure that that was a deal between Sony and Activision. Yeah, that so should be done. Hopefully like, those should be over. Cross play, cross save. No more. Um, well, that's on Sony. Exclusives. I think. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, that would be interesting save. to see what happens with this. I just want cross yeah. save. That would be plenty. Cross yeah, save. Cross save Same. Would just start. Yeah, I'd have to get a PC for me. Same. If that was the case. And then if the population takes a big dive, we need cross play. <laughs> <laughs> so we can get more guardians in there. Do you think uh, it's, it's interesting what Ho's bringing up though? Because I think Lego and Wilson, you guys kind of took perspective from the game and from like what you mm -hmm. know we're expecting out of it i think you know host perspective is kind of the ba the balance they're always going to have to fight is is that you know we still have to fund these things and we have to do this and we have to develop these things within 2019 where the expectations of consumers is as we've talked about already on the show where is it where is it where is it you know how long and we've talked about you know how long does their goodwill last well now it's completely bungee's goodwill so how yeah. long will that last if we have to wait longer you know mac Runny made a point like that i said in the chat so it will be interesting to see how things go forward and i i'm 100 percent agreeing with hove you know the potential is there um but there's gonna be a lot of eyes looking on this too because it's you know kind of the first of its kind well not first of its kind but you know it's got this media attention now too so i think a lot of people are going to be looking at the situation maybe a lot of smaller studios will be looking at the situation as well as like i've said activision as well and some of the larger publishers now what i'm also really curious about is what happens with this hundred million dollar investment they took from another publisher in china for another game i wonder if that was like a like in case like depending on what happens with activision here's our backup plan because i was thinking about that too uh -huh. like we might make this other game separate from activision but then they got the rights because like if that meeting hove what you were saying if people weren't sure where destiny was going to go maybe that other game was going to be their focus or something like that well, I don't it's know. not it's not uncommon for game developers especially bungie uh to be working on multiple <laughs> ips at once i mean there was a poster for destiny in right i think it was odst yeah an odst there was a poster yeah. on the wall it says like your destiny awaits or something like uh -huh. that so like mm -hmm. i mean dude they've i guarantee you whatever they took that loan for they've had this cooking for a while dude. i was you saying don't just... but maybe it's it was a maybe there is another game but maybe it was kind of a like Da on the down low like we're trying to get out of this activision thing mm -hmm. maybe maybe that's gonna work towards Dest. maybe they're gonna work with them for destiny now who knows maybe you know I mean? like maybe yeah i mean because they couldn't come out and say we're taking a hundred million dollar investment from a publisher to work on destiny they couldn't say that when activision was still there but maybe huh. that was kind of a you know, like you said a backup or a stepping stone to getting out of this deal with Activision. it could be yeah and there's you know a lot of that shit does go on and you know not just the tech industry but like i mean you gotta have a backup for your backup you know what i'm saying yeah. like you gotta mm -hmm. it, it is what it is like you gotta have a side not, chick if it's if it's so, not <laughs> if it's not money for destiny i can guarantee you there's there's that money is locked down tight in writing saying that it, it could probably only be used for whatever that new you know title is going to be you know, but I mean, you could be right. Like, there's shadier shit has happened, and that's not even really that shady, to be honest. No, it's that's more like a cover your own ass. A lot more like business thing. practice. I don't. Yeah, I would that's not put smart, that man. That's, you got employees that need to put food on. Now, the if tables. it is another game, though, we've already talked about. You know, even though they have that hundred million, they were gonna have that hundred million whether they left Activision or not, right? That deal was already made. So now we're talking about if it is another game that they're gonna start developing. If they lose High Moon and Vicarious. They lose mm. the money from Activision. Like, they're gonna have like they have a lot of work ahead of them. I feel like yeah. I, I don't know the ins and outs of this at all, not even close. Um, but it just feels like you know, and I'm sure you know this is what they wanted. Everyone on the dev side, you know, cheering, very happy. Um, so that's great, and that makes me hopeful. I just think it's you know they're gonna have a lot of work. This has been well, going think on about for it. a while. This isn't like this didn't like come up no. like a week or yeah. even a yeah. month or even several months ago. This has been a lot of shit has to happen in order for something to even be announced. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you can't just yeah. be like handshake, we're gonna do this, let's announce it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like that doesn't happen. Like your your lawyers are like instantly separate you two, start going through everything with a fine tooth comb looking over all the paperwork and stuff like that and be like okay no you can't announce this yet because of this and there's a lot of like back and forth and things like that so this has been 
I want to say in the works well before uh, Forsaken dropped. Oh, yeah. yeah. In my opinion. Well, think about this from Hove, you were saying like that they're going to have a lot of work to do. Think about it in terms of because I own my own company, Wilson. I know you've done a lot of work yourself that's like under your own name. Um, when you I am my have. Own and, and Hove has his own thing Stakes making custom cakes. printed <laughs> iPhone cases. Um, <laughs> and, and when you have something like that, you really like have like one of your goals is to have a lot of work obviously you don't want to like overdo it but being fully booked is like a good thing whenever you tell people like oh how's your next year looking and you're like oh i'm booked i've got so much work to do you're like oh well, awesome yeah like, that's what you want you want to be like have your future work set in stone that you're going to get paid for of course the yep. getting paid for part is could be potentially up in the air but it sounds like they've signed deals put things in place with other companies and stuff. You know, it seems like they know they've got a plan in place is, is what it appears like. And they, like Wilson said, they've thought this through for months. Um, and just, I think as, you know, we could speculate all day as what's going on with the company, but as a consumer, it's just really exciting to have the IP back in Bungie's hands, completely their creative control. There was something I wanted to jump back to real quick. Wilson, you were talking about, um at kind of towards the beginning of this conversation about how you were like oh man this came at the perfect time like this was the you know i, I was kind of at that point where i was like uh you know i'm just kind of waiting around and, and then it was like that the perfect announcement for that time right. and i was thinking today i was like man it's been like it's the new year we've kind of been on this long break i feel like they're going to come back and just announce something huge today and that like if they do a twab or something like it just feels like that time where they would announce something massive. And to me, I was thinking in my head, I was like, oh, it's gonna be Trials. Like maybe they'll announce when Trials is coming back today. Like, wouldn't that be awesome? We'd have so much to talk about, you know? And then they <laughs> like, they're like, oh yeah, you thought we were announcing Trials? Freaking we own Destiny again, you know? And it was like, wait, what? But then it made got me thinking like even further than that, like what if, and this is like, this is big time Wilson Conspiracy Corner. Um, what if like they were holding back trials, like the the good feeling of like, look what we've done now that we're in charge for like when they controlled it again. And then then start doing all the really awesome stuff uh, with Destiny that like really piques everyone's interest to the extreme. Um, I don't know, like, because once you announce that you're taking over something, that is kind of the start of a split and people will start to see Bungie as its own entity at that like as just Bungie Destiny as just Bungie and not Activision anymore um from the moment they announce it basically like even though nothing's in place yet or whatever Nothing. that the consumer from the consumer perspective that's what it's going to feel like I think right I think you're just way too excited about trials Maybe. I think you're seeing some I think you're reaching for something that's uh, not there to get trials in it, it's okay it kind of go back a little bit what you're saying about how it looks good to have work like absolutely man i can't tell you how much more work i've sold when i told people like oh i'm booked for like six seven months and they're like well you know put us on there get get, get us in there at seven and a half months you know what i mean like and it does look good to have work but it it's just so early right now like it, it's exciting news there's gonna be a twab tomorrow they may i don't want to say like touch base more on it but like mm -hmm. I I'm think sure they'll be will. mentioned. I'm sure, I'm sure it'll be mentioned. But I don't think if, we're gonna get. We're not gonna get the details. I think we're scanning for like what the legal team yeah. is looking for and like timeline and things like yeah. that. Obviously, that won't be included. But I agree. There's, gonna there's be no some other reason. Other addition to it. There's no other reason that one of the community managers couldn't have had out a twab based on what's going on in game, if it didn't have to do with them finding out stuff today, because it's I, not not to like put any of them down, but I don't think the community managers were part of the meetings between <laughs> Activision and, and Bungie. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. I think it is, teams and... yeah, I think it is more of a thing of we, there's going to be some stuff. It's not going to be detailed, but it might be, Hey, this yeah. is what we plan. This is, it'll be very vague. No, it's, it's, it's not going to be a time right now yeah. and reviewed by lawyers. Basically yeah. what you can't, can't say. <laughs> no, that, that, that's what you got to do. man. And it's still going to play nice say. with Activision the whole time. I mean, all their, yeah, on Activision's, they put out their Bungie side. It's always going to be like, we're appreciative of what this partnership was and what this brought to people and all these other things. I mean, it's still going to be flowered with all kinds of that stuff until the end of time. I mean, you know, maybe if you know somebody in there can give you like the, all oh, we hated them from every second off the record thing. But I mean, whatever we get, 
I think it's just going to be more rehashing of that kind of, you know, PR marketing type of stuff that you're going to just keep hearing. So, yeah. But I do agree on that's why maybe the twat was delayed. Maybe, or maybe they were just all busy sitting around with some purple sticky punch. You don't know. Definitely, <laughs> man. Especially in that state. Or, I mean, if they're all popping champagne, maybe no one's around uh, enough to write a coherent twab. Yeah. Hmm. Also true. I don't know. DJ's just been tweeting a lot, though. Did, did so, you guys see it, anything? Go ahead, Wilson. Oh, so, sorry, I was just going to say, and you guys can just tell me to, like, be like, no, we're not talking about that. Um, we're not talking about that. See anything about like the whole the whole last word thing? Do we? Do we want to? I, I don't. That later, I want to acknowledge that it exists. You know, like, hey, people have because it's like basically, uh, people have found information about the quest and even like the. No, no. I don't want to. No, I'm just saying I don't want to talk about the quest. I'm yeah, but like, even stats of the gun and stuff is has been found and so yes. if you're trying to avoid spoiler stuff kind of it's out on youtube so just watch out yes be be mindful of that i mean we could probably talk about that when it gets a little bit closer to the last yeah. word time but yeah so if you've seen any last word stuff on uh, youtube and you don't i don't really know why like stats would be a spoiler or anything like that but yeah, I don't. you never know dude it so. just had the videos i saw had like quest stuff in it too and i yeah. was just like nope not gonna click on it i don't oh, know i watched the shit out of that man that's my baby i want to be a <laughs> space cowboy again i'm like how am i gonna get this piece <laughs> how long am i gonna have to wait <laughs> is am i gonna have to kill 20 minotaurs to get it <laughs> i'll kill all of them i'll kill every last one of them things in in the system for a last word dude bring it on <laughs> Uh yeah, I was just gonna say. Did anybody else have anything to say about the the Bungie Activision topic? I I think we've I could go on forever. Well. There's so many things. I do want to quickly caveat that in all the things that we covered because we have taken a positive approach to things that we're not necessarily by no means are we like excusing poor implementations for something. So this isn't saying like oh those grindy quests and kill twenty minotaurs is fine all of a sudden. So yeah, I mean suck. you know again we have projected a lot of positivity with these two particular issues yeah um, but that doesn't necessarily absolve bungie from everything or activision for that matter in everything mm. that this has done and, and all the stuff that was surrounding the labs and so forth but i think our, our position of just don't be crazy about it remains true um but i don't want to project that we're not acknowledging the fact that you know there were some things that could have been done better yeah mostly yeah, for, for the sure. first topic yeah buddy absolutely i think i think one of the things that kind of and i and this comes to me because Triton, i don't feel like we've we've had instances where we need to explain negative our negativity i think it's been more where we've had to explain our positivity right like hey we know that there are things <laughs> wrong but yeah we're trying to be positive whatever it's not that we think everything's great the reason i think that happens and i mentioned this a long long time ago you almost get like forced into being positive if you don't want to because right now when the loudest voices are going to be the negative ones right the, mm -hmm. ma the majority of time you don't go to a place order a cheeseburger a cheeseburger comes out and you go yes oh my god look at this i ordered a piece of meat with cheese and a bun and they sent it to me right like no one does that like it's just expected <laughs> but if you order a cheeseburger they send you a chicken sandwich that's when people are like I went to this place and they sent me the wrong thing. I'm pissed, they right? Out. So it becomes even even if I agree with some of the issues or all of the issues that people have with something, you're almost forced into one of two things. You either join the group think, the, like yeah, the, like the the group think, mm -hmm. the Mom yelling into the abyss, you know, the echo Which chamber, time? or you hmm. give the other side of that. And when the loudest, craziest bitching is just so negative, and like I said, that's what's been exhausting me lately, I take the point of view of, like, this is why that is unnecessary. Do you know what I mean? It's not necessary. Yeah. It's not that I think everything they did was great, but it isn't bad to the point that the loud voices are making it out to be. So it's almost like you're forced into sounding like you're defending Bungie, defending the game, but at least you know, that's how I, I look at it. Well, and how, how I can always step with thing. that. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm not enjoying something, I don't sugarcoat it at all. But I, like I said, getting, I don't know if it's an age thing, dude. I hate to go there, but like, I don't know if it's an age thing, but like, as I'm getting older, like I 
can kind of sit back and see things from multiple angles and just be like, I got more important shit to do with my day. Like this will get solved. This will get figured out till then I go to work, pay some bills, clean my mess of a man cave or, you know, whatever else. Like I'm just not going to let it like stress me out. Like some people, man, oof, it's unhealthy. Yeah, I'm with you, man. I I kind of feel like that might be why I gave Destiny a break for a second. Who figured out how to zoom his camera in? Oh my look God. at him go. He's having so much fun look right now. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh no, where's it going? <laughs> oh, easy there, Monka TOS. Easy um, there. <laughs> so I feel like that might be why I took like a few days off for because like, you it, if you feel like you've got like other you look at things from multiple perspectives and if you like don't enjoy like that certain quest right away or whatever you just don't do it for a second you come back everybody's figured out the easiest way to do it and all of a sudden there's three new exotics you can get from doing the forge and so i'm like okay cool now i can get all this stuff let's go get it let's go have some fun you know i'm like super excited right now to get i haven't got the exotic bow yet and i was watching some I gameplay with I know, I know i know i uh, know i was watching some gameplay of it and if you just put down an empowering rift you can one shot headshot people with it and i was like wait what we have a bow that can one shot headshot people that's crazy thank god and and immediately i was like can i use my inertia override on my striker and one shot people i don't know if that's true but i'm gonna go i want the gun now so i can try it out sounds awesome no doubt one shot arrows to the dome, unicorn and people. That does sound like a good time. Mm hmm. You just unicorn them. Well, I was going to say that, you know, we've talked, you've kind of talked about the meaty part of the podcast, you know, the, the beef stew that we had for this episode. And I was going to let us go to Candyland, like Hoves 7 and whatever I get to, he plays. I get to be. Uh, but oh. we have Twitter questions, or we had some community questions, I think. So I figured we'd. Uh, get to those before we yeah and if you have any in chat feel free to throw those the out abyss. too if you want to ask Cove about his erectile dysfunction please put that in chat or his mustache or both <laughs> like, I they're want related. maybe they're linked <laughs> damn Cove Triton I was just going to go for the mustache you went for the ED dog that's my fault it was one of his words Oh, what's the point of the game if you're just gonna give everyone this word? Nobody know, guesses right? anyway. You can't give them away, Hove. I can do whatever I want, Lego. It's my game. He was defending Triton's honor, which is a rare thing. So just let That's it happen. That's also true. Let it happen, boys. <sighs> so first one, um, Chimmy Kim <laughs> asks, "What do you think of this tweet from Phil Spencer, uh, the head of Xbox? You may, th you think we may get cross save soon, or maybe the next franchise." And it was just one of his tweets, like we talked about, looking forward to yep. the very bright future, yada yada yada. Um, too early to really say anything. We, we all hope. We talk, sure as we hell talk hope about so. It. I don't see why the hell not. That'd be great, dude. You could just go play it on your PC. Yeah. Go and go play it on your your PlayStation. Who knows? Maybe mobile. I'm kidding. Uh, kidding. Right. Mobile your but... face. <laughs> um, <laughs> Heavy Metal Mama said, "I'm not gonna lie. I saw this coming, but not this soon. Anyone else worried for what this means for the future of Destiny?" I think we kind of. I think we. Yeah, too. we kind of covered that too. I think it. This is a turning point, but I am excited for the yeah. future. But I could see. I mean, this, this doesn't. This isn't a guarantee that things are going to get better. Hundred percent. Yeah, I don't think that. Uh, I definitely don't see it as a negative thing. Like it's no. super exciting to me. Uh, like, and I think I've showed that throughout this podcast. Especially as it relates to Charles Lego. Oh God! How well, mine asked. <laughs> Do you think they will stay with Battle.net for Destiny 3 or maybe go to Steam or cut a sweet deal with Epic Store? Hmm. No idea. Wait and see. But is there even going to be Destiny 3? That's what we don't know yes. at this point. I'm sure. I don't even want to talk about Destiny 3, man. <laughs> hey, like... Wilson, let's talk about Destiny 3. <laughs> I mean, like, you know what I mean, though, right? Like, I, I want this game to get sorted out before I start, like, you know, like I forget whose chat or whose stream I was in, but somebody asked him what their Destiny Three wish list was, and he said the same shit. He's like, "I don't want to think about Destiny Three right now. Like, I want to get Destiny Two right and then make Destiny Three awesome." But I think they kind of have to go to mm. Destiny Three and do that reboot and build upon it. I would like to say, like, just build upon this game. 
but I'm not a game developer, and I don't know what kind of technical limitations are involved with this engine or whatever else goes into making an awesome game. Same. Like, yeah. This also, that, don't forget, uh, next generation systems in the next right. two years, too. That's what I think. I Consoles, think they'll hold so. off until next generation systems do D3, clean slate, whatever they need to because we kind of started out d2 on the wrong foot with the weapon yeah. system and everything and you know so that gives a clean slate for that clean slate for whatever other spaghetti code stuff they need to figure out and then also like people complain about uh the connections and the way they are i don't know if that'll ever change that's a possibility but then also the main almost the main thing to me is clearing the slate with activision and saying this is a hundred percent us d3 Let's go, you know. I do want to point out, though, that that's one of those things that us as the, like, whatever number you want to use, 10%, 20%, the majority of gamers don't even know what that means. No, I think they yeah. will. I think this is this is why. This is why. It's because news companies like Polygon and what, like, they're going to be all over the fact that this right. is happening but until <laughs> i like until i started playing destiny and wanted to know the news and was on the internet looking it up i didn't even know what any of those things were i just bought games but because and of them. destiny you are and i'm right. saying that people who used to be in destiny one like or even destiny two and jump ship they're the ones who will probably see those kind of articles i would think like i would now but you're in I mean, that like per small percent. I mean, they, I, we're yeah, on a podcast. I I Even if I take time away, though, like I would still see that stuff. I feel like. I think even if Destiny Two, like they build it to the point there. I think Destiny Three launches because we talked a little bit of the aspects of like now there's not this you know money truck kind of backing up. Destiny Three allows like kind of in the minds of consumers a new start for something. So even if it really is a continuation of Two, Destiny Three allows for more people to come back on board, people that weren't playing in the past. Yeah. Even if all it is is just you know the incremental improvements we want um plus host point you know maybe be on a new system which is always cool to launch you know if you if you're launching on both consoles to have maybe one of those bundles with ps5 if it releases or xbox whatever the next one is that kind of stuff too so it just makes sense from a business standpoint to whatever they do i think we're absolutely going to get a marketed uh to some degree destiny 3 whether what what a, what the guts of that are and what that is gameplay wise could very much be what you just played two weeks ago with some cool stuff new hopefully um but you know that's really kind of the rallying point to get new people. You bring up a good point. All these things, Triton, because it's uh, you know it's it'll get confusing the longer that D two goes along with all the DLCs, what you need and like, yeah. unless they simplify that extremely, that. it's it's confusing <laughs> to jump into yes. D two even now. So. <laughs> Yeah, and it's intimidating a little bit. It's confusing, yeah. and, and some people's like, "Well, what do I need to do this?" And you know, it's like, "Well, I could just play something else." That's like we talked about, just one whole game continuously. Destiny Three seems like a, "Oh, now's my chance." Even yeah. if for us, it's, you know, they got D two right. Can't wait to see what they bring new in in Destiny Three. Even um, if that's just incremental. Hundred percent. I wonder how much more they'll be able to say now that they're their own bosses. I know that Dun transparency as yeah. to why things are not not like what we're doing, but this is the approach we're taking to it. Like this is why things like that. I'm not saying I expect it, uh, because Bungie's yeah. always been known for kind of being tight lipped about things. But exactly, yeah. you've gotta assume that some of that was because they have a publisher fronting this money, they're kind of their boss. You don't want to say things until they're ironclad. Yeah, you know, who knows? Or maybe maybe I, I even if like... it's maybe even if it's just more um that's what I'm looking for, like I don't know. I, I, I forget. Just more opinion. I, feel, I don't know. I'm done. I feel I'm like it's going to say about the same because they're used to using a certain language and it, it would be difficult to break that if you're used to it. Unless they have, you know, they could clear that up and be like, actually, we can do this now, you know, but uh, I would expect nothing to change drastically right away. And maybe over time we'll see a change is what I would think. Um, Chibi Kim says she would like to see Lego or Triton grow a mustache. I have been trying for two years, Chip Kim. So here it is. Have you there not you shaved in two years, <laughs> dude? I can't grow facial hair. It's an, it's impossible. Really? Oh, I could. Almost Zealous. impossible. Um, I have the the gap though. Do you, do any of y'all like it grows here and here? Dude, I have a like gap here? between every so get, like, hair on my face, only. so I end up well, with like I... about thirty. Like three inch hairs in this whole space. Patches. Oh, it's terrible. 
<laughs> Mine grows in all uneven, like uh, Tom Hanks from Castaway. I got like that homeless man on an island look. You are after a, while. a homeless man on an island. It's true. Uh, background to you, says, you live. Do y'all think we'll see any changes <laughs> to the current game? Will this only affect future content? Uh, by current game D two, yeah, I think we'll we'll see it. You know, we kind of talked about that. Uh, right now, though, no, I think this roadmap gets played out the way it was going to. <laughs> I think they said they were like, don't worry, this is going to get played out with maybe some little sprinkling. Like, they didn't use the term sprinkles of things in there, but they said that there was going to be some surprises, some things that they were excited to talk about that had to do with D2. So, maybe we could assume that all the time gated stuff was Activision's idea. So, maybe that will, that will change. I don't know. That's like, uh, so I, I agree with everyone said, and we pretty much have. Um, ended up just addressing that in the regular combo. So, For sure. yeah, I don't think... At some point, D2, and hopefully the stuff that is on that roadmap, will all have Bungie's influence so that, you know... Yeah. It's yeah. not... Uh, I don't want to say not Activision. I try to change it into a verb, just saying it's not... Uh, <laughs> it's more what we want. Uh, question for LEGO from Gorniak. For LEGO, the fusion rifle master, in a word, would you call the new exotic fusion rifle beautiful or awesome? I would say awesome, because explosions, yeah. What if you think explosions I mean, are beautiful? Then it could be. It just mm. looks more destructive than something beautiful. But I'm okay. I mean, not that destruction can't be beautiful. That's just what comes to mind for me. Can be. But <laughs> I also do not have that gun yet. I, but uh, I'm definitely gonna be playing this week to get it. Another question from chat. You may not be able to see it, uh, but it's <laughs> it says for Lego the podcast boss in a word. What? Would you call Hove? beautiful or awesome uh is destructive on the beautiful list too? or awesome um beautiful yes. beautiful tragedy beautiful tragedy i'm gonna get your face <laughs> on a cell phone case you're a poet Ooh, you didn't even poet. know it yeah. ha Damn, beat so you wilson God, i'm so done hope <laughs> is just gonna say everything for me for this evening go ahead hope uh Tell wilson him. doesn't Tell have him. anything to thinking? say right now he's probably thinking that he's hungry he was snacking on a little bit, but he, he definitely he definitely would Crunch like berries. he would definitely like a grilled cheese or something right now. Dude, a grilled cheese would be fire. I'm like some Texas toast. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's Texas like Sam's in chat. Is that why? No, Are you hitting some it fruit? something? Me? Oh, it's fruit. Okay. Yeah, she brought me some strawberries and some oh. oranges. It looked kind of like a bagel bite. Uh, Dude, I think that's like week two in a row where Sam. Do like, you know what I want, Wilson? She does every week. Fruit. I want, it's been going on for a while. I just a cheese got well, I remember the jelly sandwich. Well, yeah. <laughs> that was uh, the, I, the old fries from Eaton. No, there it's I still have the good fries in my Eaton part. Uh, okay. It's just that one terrible. I want like uh, some like homemade like cinnamon rolls, like out of the oven. Like hot. Sam and was gonna make some of those tonight. See? We're like the Maybe. same person. <laughs> I also scary. have cameras in your house. Is my mom your mom and my dad your dad? What's going on here? <laughs> Somebody's parent. Uh... <laughs> um. Also, somebody. Uh... <laughs> Sorry. Um. God damn it. Somebody told. Yeah, I was. I was reading something, but um, somebody on Twitter, I forget who it was, pointed out that there is a steaks and cakes place in Chicago. It's not. Oh, it's man. not called steaks and cakes. It's called like create your own something. But they That's specialize funny. in cheesecakes and cheese steaks. And I was That's like, only listen, a two-hour uh, drive for me. And as I'm long drive as up there, and I'm a, I'm gonna lay the law down yeah, and tell them that they can't do that. As long as the name <laughs> isn't taken, like there's more than one right. burger place. There's more than one pizza yeah. place. We're, I just need steaks a, and cakes. We're pulling a Fine Brothers. We're gonna trademark that shit. That's ours. You can't. You can't react. You know what I mean? Like we're pulling that. <laughs> Yeah, that's our shit, and that's a two-hour drive. Yeah, I'm coming for you. Just I saying. found they sent me the website. <laughs> if you check our uh, our notifications for for Rezocast, it's in there. I'm gonna go there to um, start shit, and this could be a picture of me passed out from eating so much delicious stuff. <laughs> and then I'll have to defriend you, um, <laughs> Kim. I'm not sure what it's called in in chat. I'll find it. I'll post it in a second here. Um, but yeah, some. Do you ever have the cinnamon rolls with the orange frosting? No. Oh. Why no. would you do that? They did You're... that at uh, where did my does it taste different? My in law, uh, my stepmom made it 
uh and for like a breakfast for the christmas breakfast or something like that and we all walk into the kitchen and we're like oh cinnamon rolls and there was like half of the orange kind and then half of the regular and we all like ate the regular immediately and the orange kind was just sitting there like nobody touched it it was kind of like uh someone like tried it you know and put it back and they're like no thanks i don't know <laughs> so no hope <laughs> We don't want the orange kind, and don't make it for other people. Just give them the normal kind. That's all anybody wants. Who? What's different about you? the orange kind? Does it taste like how? Yeah, is it a glaze it's Lego, or it's is like it like orange glaze, glaze like okay. icing instead of the normal icing? Like orange, as in like uh, like dreamsicle orange? Yeah. Well, that sounds fire. Wait, it's, it's, really good. it's really good. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Shit, Wait, dreamsicle dog. orange sounds <laughs> good. No, no, no. Like medicine orange. No, like, you know, when oh, don't listen to him. Pills, it's delicious. Like, they're like orange like flavored. Pepto-Bismol orange? No. Medicine orange? pink. <laughs> Fuck that. Medicine no, orange? don't listen. I don't want dreamsicle like, orange, Like, dog. like yeah, uh, Hold on. It, it's like Flintstone vitamin orange. Dude, real talk. Yeah. When I was a kid, I ate like half a bottle of those, and it was right? not good. Right? Flintstone vitamins? <laughs> it was not good. So, my mom, I locked myself in the bathroom. I snatched the bottle from my mom, dude. Like, I was like, give me that. And ran into the bathroom, locked myself in. My mom was pounding on the door, telling me to unlock the door. And my aunt, dude, she was so savage. She was like, let him. He'll learn. <laughs> let him. He'll learn. <laughs> oh, and I learned. Dude, and for my... real, you know what happens when you take too many vitamins? They yeah, just you come shit right out of every you. bit of liquid out of you. Like, I was dehydrated. <laughs> I felt like I was in the Sahara Desert. I was seven. I was confused. <laughs> I thought I was supposed to grow big and strong. So I figured the more you have... I'd be big as shit. I'd be the strongest kid on the block. Nope. Most dehydrated kid on the block. I sent that. you a picture. Of what? Cinnamon rolls. The orange ones. The orange ones? It's bad. Yeah, if they're Cinnabon. They're Lego. delicious. No. Lego. I don't think anyone makes a medicine orange glaze cinnamon roll like and sells it commercially. There's just no way that that's what Cinnabon does. Seen some weird stuff at Walmart. That's all I'm saying. No, <laughs> yep, World. But it's normally the customers, not so much. <laughs> You're right. The orange glazing on this looks like fucking cheese right now. It looks like it's. Could you. That doesn't sound. I'm telling you, pleasant. it's not right. I, I don't care if it looks bad. It tastes good. Well, it does look like American cheese in that picture. Hove, you, you like got cheese. anything else for us? Yeah, we're talk We're having a good, wholesome conversation <laughs> about cinnamon rolls. Why can't we just be friends and talk and have some fun? Can't we be friends? No, because you guys seem to know what I'm talking about. Or did you not know? Wait, I was I wasn't in Lego's camp. I wasn't. I didn't want them. I wanted the. You wanted the medicine glazing. Yeah, dreams go. Yeah, not the medicine glaze that Lego had. The Pepto Bismol glaze. Just picturing pink cinnamon rolls now. It's disgusting. That's so bad. Sam's gonna buy some so we can try them next week. I'll get back to you. Okay, review. Rezocast. 100%. I'm going to put it up on YouTube. Conspiracy Corner review. Yeah. Rezo reviews. Rezocast reviews. First one, orange cinnamon glazing. We should do that. Every week, <laughs> we should all have to try something and review it. What do you guys think? Sure, I'll try orange cinnamon yeah, glazing. Yeah, but like, who's determining what we try, though? Is it going to be like we determine for each Me. other? Because that's going to get real. Okay, then no. <laughs> then no, yeah. <laughs> no, we all we all decide. Or we can have chat decide, decide every week. That's mm -hmm. a even... That's, that's a potentially... No, 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 no. We pick, right we pick three or four things that we would be willing to do. We put out a poll every week. Go bad. We put out a poll of three or four things nope. that we're okay with. Like, we would obviously have to be okay with it. <sighs> I think it's a great chat. Come on. What do you think? If every, I actually don't think it's a bad idea. If every it's Friday, because on Thursday after the podcast, we'll discuss it. So then every Friday I'll put out a poll with however many things that we've all agreed on and you guys vote and we will all try it by the next podcast and review it. Too bad. None of you guys live in a legal state. Otherwise I'd say some edibles. <laughs> yeah, try that. I'll try orange glazing. You try these brownies dog and get back to me on the review. <laughs> Sam said she wants to be the one that picks for us, I think. Uh, no. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah. They, I, chat has also banned you from choosing HelloFresh at any time. Mm. Dude, HelloFresh is so bomb. Yo, no, Mac we're not sponsored by them. How many times do we have no, to No, and that's you? why yes. people should take this seriously, because yes. I'm getting yes. nothing from this except the enjoyment Yo, if we can get the fresh. cell phone company and HelloFresh to put together a Rezo 
package. Be lit. Also, eat and park you for Hobanai, please. And then <laughs> yeah. put a case. <laughs> like, I'm at this. You could make food, put a f case on your phone, and then call your friends and tell them how awesome your food was. See? There you go. Let's see your phone case. What? Let's see that, Let's see that sexy phone case one more see time. See what? You took it oh. off the phone again? You motherfucker. <laughs> you monster. There's no way Lego's going to use that in public. <laughs> Let that unicorn fly, Good, Lego. Put it, put it on the phone. Put it on the phone. That beautiful... <laughs> you know, Lego, you have a choice. Here's your choice. You either use that for a week, you watch the goddamn TV show I sent you two years ago, <laughs> or I leave oh. the podcast. Wait, it's that I easy? Know he hasn't watched it. That's all I have to do? Oh. <laughs> oh, he's giving you the, the look. How do you know he hasn't watched it in two years? It's not like Steve. I, see you looking I ask him all, all the time, and he goes, okay. no, I still didn't watch it. Because Gary used to pull that guilt trip on Briar. He bought him a game that was on sale. Yeah. And, like, every week he'd be like, yeah, that game that I brought, bought Briar. Oh, let's look at Steam here. Zero hours played. <laughs> and, like, would, get, would just give him so much Don't shit Don't ever it. buy me a game, Hove. Don't do it. Do it, Hove. <laughs> He's thinking about it. I'm thinking about if I leave the chat right now, how the stream's still going to be up and it's going to be awkward. Yeah, you can't. It's going to get weird. You and your dramatic uh, exits. Well, Lego won't use any of the gifts I have thoughtfully sent to no, him. He uses the mug. Remember, like, the Lego mug that you got him that, like, was the mug and you put Lego pieces on it? No, he, he doesn't. Like that. You should have got him a matching mug. Qu question, does your wife have the same phone as you? No. That would be awesome, though. That would be really funny. That what kind really of phone... Funny. Does she have? No, I'm not even oh. telling you. <laughs> I'll ask her. Just send her a broad spectrum of cases for every phone. <laughs> Wait, while we're on the topic, though, Lego, did you ever assemble the Destiny Legos that I sent you? I didn't, no. And oh I told my you. God. See, he's the worst friend why. ever. Wait, no. no, you didn't. Did you white elephant them? Because I'll, we're not friends. No, I didn't. They're still in the bedroom over there. Um, Wait, white elephant. We talked about that, right? Yes, you you okay. don't remember what a white elephant. Nah, we're fine. Yeah, sure. Move on. <laughs> so you haven't I totally so you remember, haven't dude. Oh, you haven't assembled the Legos. I got you. You don't. You didn't get the fact that I thought that that dude from the uh, new Harry Potter movies looked like you. You didn't even. You didn't like that. You're you're not a good gift getter, Lego. No, I'm not. No, and and my wife hates you, it too. But... I, anything that involves me like spending time in it to do something, I'm terrible with those gifts. I just asked your wife what kind of phone she has. Wait, how? Oh, yeah, she's Through on Twitter. Twitter. Welcome to the internet, pal. <laughs> 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 she's going to know, though, because she knows I have this. So it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, maybe it's not maybe a surprise for her. <laughs> maybe maybe she maybe she was like, "Yo, I kind of want that, and I don't want to like you know ask Hope." I don't think that's what she's thinking. I, Does she I want the 100... other one? Does she want the other one that I sent Wenny? No, I don't. She she wouldn't even know what it was. <laughs> Matt Somehow, asked why everyone's yeah. ripping on Lego. He's so cute. It's because he's so cute, Matt. No, no, no. Here's the problem. Lego gets away. We're all talking about how he has completely disrespected all of us, and somehow we're. How have I disrespected Wilson? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> just Thank Wilson. You. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Lego. I love you, buddy. Yeah. You're welcome. Well, so, I, I was I was gonna say Triton and Wilson, but I have multiple things Triton could ding me for, so I'm not even gonna try to go there. <laughs> anyway, so we're all eating orange cinnamon rolls this week. 100%. Oh, I everyone. would try those Pillsbury oh, kind. Oh. They're bound to be good. I have tried them. They're awful. Wait, well, you got to try one more time. I thought you said that someone made the like homemade Lego. You didn't tell no, us. No, they, they were the store brand ones. Were what they the brand, Walmart Lego? store brand? Like the great the value Pillsbury. Brand. Pillsbury, no. <laughs> all right. So well, it's the exact one that Hove put in. Well, yes. you put it in chat. It's, all right. Sorry. When you were cooking them, did the little Pillsbury Doughboy come out and do the whole <laughs> thing? Yeah. Do, uh, Ooh, two then v it two... wasn't Pillsbury, bruh. 2v2 <laughs> Rezo match. Do I get Wilson? Can I have Wilson? Ooh. Can we do... Yeah. Uh, I call Triton. Have me? Yeah. I definitely want Triton. What are we Who's doing? Who's having who and, and what two v two are res about? 2v2 Rezo match? Are we doing match? some riverboat gambling? What's going Ooh, on? I think we're... Are we not talking Destiny? I don't know. I, don't... I thought we were talking... 
cinnamon rolls. I thought we were talking about eating roll. something. So that's Alan. what I was. I was talking. I thought we were talking about eating something then. Oh, okay. I just. I don't know. So wait, are we all gonna have orange cinnamon rolls by next Thursday? Dude, I am. No. Lego, what the? F- You're the worst. You won't watch no, our movies. You won't use our gifts. Ones. You won't put together our Legos. You won't join in on. You're. I'm done. I spin. I'm out. No, I'm not even gonna go into it. Nope. Not gonna do it. I'm out. Not gonna do it. I'm out. Well, I left. I left everybody. It just happened to stream. Damn it. Uh, I I was but gonna go first. This has been Lego, aka Legole Flash. You can find me on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube at Lego L E Flash Hove. Where can they find you? Did somebody say something to me? I know where you can find Hove. You can find him at his local grocery section in the baking buying, aisle. Yeah, buying Getting him orange some orange glazed cinnamon rolls. That's where you'll find me. Actually, I won't go because I won't be. I get so lost at the grocery store. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> I'm Hove. You can find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Hove76 or Twitter also at Hove76. Um, you can find me in a white van cruising down your neighborhood with my mustache as well. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Triton? Yeah, I don't know how to follow that, but... You oh, can, wait, you can I also mean... find me picking out wonderful, thoughtful, humorous gifts for people who refuse to use them or acknowledge the time I spent on them. right now. <laughs> Triton, go ahead. I'm sorry. Well, you know, I just remind... I forgot that I really wanted to talk about this Huckleberry build that I made this week around oh. that exotic. So that, oh, that should have been like two hours ago. But yeah, you can find me <laughs> on uh, Twitter... <laughs> Twitch and YouTube all under Triton Please, one word, the please being PLZ. And how about you, Wilson? Yo, you can find me on Twitter at Ryu Wilson. That's R Y U Wilson. Uh, tweet me, show me all the cool stuff that you got from Destiny, but I won't be checking it on the go, only at home when I'm on my desktop. Mm. Keep that in mind. Because y'all can be toxic sometimes. <laughs> well, <laughs> you can also find Resocast at Resocast on Twitter. Find more about Team Resolute at Team Resolute on Twitter. And you can find more about these amazing blue microphones and headphones we've been using this week at bluemic.com, our wonderful sponsors. And if you like the sound that you're hearing out of your wonderful audio source, you can purchase these for yourself for 20% off using code Resocast uh, on their website. Do it. They're awesome. They uh, actually just announced um a new entry level xlr mic uh Ooh. it's a 99 dollar xlr mic so Dude, if, if you want nice. something that it's a little different than the yeti but around the same price it's called the ember it's 99.99 right now 20 percent off with our code very nice cool xlr sound is so good it is. it is like everyone loves the yeti but like we all noticed a huge difference when we moved to xlr mics yep 100 percent what? What? Whoa, bro! <laughs> Yo, fuck you, Hope. Me and Lego are connected now, boy. Let's go. <laughs> uh, well, I think that's it this week. I'm trying to think of there. I feel like I need to plug something else, but. You need to plug your mouth. <laughs> okay. Well. Oh, butt plug. That's my word I forgot. Thank you. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> God. That's my word I forgot. Does Thank you, really? dude. Yeah. I think this is the first week Hove didn't say all his words, actually. It's a me, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> was, that, was that Lego's word again? <laughs> I thought for sure you'd use it when I was like, you know, you know, normally you'd be like, this has been Hove. And yeah, you would... I was going to, but I was so hurt by your lack of <laughs> compassion for the gifts that I, that was like the best gift I've ever given in my life, ever. And you just well, shot me down. It's until like, next time, guys. It's like I asked you to the middle school dance and you said no in front of the whole cafeteria. That's G-G. what it feels like. G-G. G-G. Also, G-G. Wilson just said butt plug. Bye.